Greetings Kindred, I am Voivode Maquette and this is Level by Level and today is the overview of Auspex. This is the episode where we are going to be going through all of the details of Auspex before actually getting into the nitty gritty levels of those powers. So whether this is just a psychic gift to you or you consider it a voyeurism power or scrying, either way this is the overview of the vampiric gift of Auspex. Now, lots of clans practice this. This is a this is a, a power gifted to the Toridor and the Melkavians. This actually used to be a gift of the Zamitsi before 5th edition. They have been switched to using Dominate instead, which I am a fan of. I do like what the concept of Dominate is doing for the clan and what they are using it for. Um, but it is something that I truly do miss. Now, what the book says is something that is very important and we should get into that right now. Among the greatest gifts and worst curses afflicting vampires, the discipline of Auspex allows Kindred to discern truth from lies, probe the minds of those around them, and perceive reality on a different level than other beings. What appears to be the ultimate power in foresight and vision grants its wielders perhaps too much knowledge. They may detect an assassin's blade before it strikes, or get into an enemy's head to turn them around, but they can also sense every shift in emotion, good and bad, seeing things they wish they had not, and discern futures they may not wish to explore. Users of Auspex invite paranoia, but using it is addictive. Once you know the truth rests within your grasp, you seek it out at every opportunity. Kindred use Auspex in many ways. Some vampires act as spies for their courts or factions. Others act on their own blackmailing mortals and immortals with secrets gleaned from quiet conversations, subtle emotional shifts, and telepathic intrusion. Auspex allows the user to play the role of domain detective, studying the scenes of a vampire's destruction for telltale spiritual clues, or interrogating suspects with unnatural accuracy. I, I love the fact that they call Auspex addictive because I can definitely see how it would be. This is a power that lets you get in there. And how many times have you spoken to someone or known someone for a very long time and just really wanted to know what they thought about you? With this discipline, you actually have the ability to get it. But moods shift, thoughts change. What one person might instinctively think one second is not necessarily something that they're going to think the next. That can lead to trouble if you only get that fading glimpse. And this is why paranoia comes into play. If you walk up and just instinctively start reading someone's mind, you might catch something that you're not one too happy with, even if it's not the entire picture. There's so many different ways to utilize this discipline to completely get immersed in your surroundings further than any other kindred possibly could. Now the characteristics of Auspex. Storytellers may wish to make Auspex roles for characters in order to more convincingly provide wrong or incomplete answers after failed roles. That is something I need to get into. The idea of rolling for Auspex for my players giving them the answers without telling them whether or not it's off so that they don't know. That really does seem like one of the best things. In fact, the more and more I read and familiarize myself with 5th edition texts, the more I actually think that the storyteller is best to roll most roles, but specifically the perception roles. Um, and Auspex is pretty much all perception. Now, this is a mental type discipline 
obviously. The masquerade threat is low. Auspex never by itself manifests in a way visible to the naked eye or causes effects that can be rationalized, if only as dumb luck. So there's not too much of a risk using this in public. You're not going to be caught using heightened senses. You're not going to be caught by humans reading minds. Not really. Not, not by the mundane populace. And then there is our blood resonance. Phlegmatic. Artists, specifically photographers and visionaries, certain schizophrenics, users of psychoactive substances, and detectives. So it's everybody who has, for some reason, a need to have their mentality heightened, their awareness heightened in some fashion. I think it's very interesting that psychoactive substances in the blood can can uh, activate levels of aspects, but that does also make sense considering the ability to activate certain receptors in the brain that are typically dormant unless prodded. But yes, that is aspects. That is aspects in a nutshell. In our next episodes, we're going to start getting deeper and deeper into the actual levels of aspects, what it can accomplish, and our opinions on that. If you have any ideas on how you would use specific levels, by all means, please let me know them. I will share them. I will call you out. I want to know the nitty gritty aspects of what you have used this discipline for. Storytellers or players alike. Because other people who are just getting into this game want to have your experience. I will give mine. Most definitely. But I'm very interested in knowing yours and I'm sure other people's are too. I am Voivode Maquette, this is Level by Level, and welcome to the introduction of Auspex. Class dismissed.